Hello everyone, welcome back to Secret Things. Today, we will share the secret things about Doc Martin. These boots were designed to be worn while walking, and they will accomplish just that. It turns out that they work well for a variety of hobbies as well. Over the years, these classic boots have gone by many other names, including Dr. Martins, Doc Martins, Docs, and DMs. They still maintain their rough simplicity, though. If you've ever been curious about the beginnings of Docs or how they got to be so well known, then check it out in this video, as we sure have a treat for you. Dr. Klaus Martens, a German army doctor who had fractured his foot, created Doc Martens towards the conclusion of World War II. He constructed his own military boots because the ones that came with them were simply not comfortable enough. He fashioned a prototype out of leftover leather from war-torn German cities and old rubber tires used as soles. By 1947, he had teamed up with Herbert Funk, an old friend from college, who helped Martens refine the design and attract new clients. In particular, homemakers over the age of 40 accounted for more than 80% of Doc Martin's sales in the first 10 years of the company's existence. Given how much time the typical housewife spent on her feet, they particularly enjoyed the boots for their padded soles, which were rather convenient. Sales increased to the point where Martins and Funk constructed a facility in Munich in 1952. The demand for Martins and Funk's boots grew to the point where they decided to expand internationally. The exclusive rights to produce and market the boots in the UK were purchased by R. Griggs Group, a British footwear manufacturer, in 1959. To appeal to the post-war British population, Griggs changed the name of the boots to Dr. Martins, added the recognizable yellow stitching, and somewhat altered the design of the shoe. If you needed to stand all day, Doc Martens were tough, dependable, and, most importantly, comfortable. Among the first groups of people to wear the recognizable boots were factory workers, police officers, and mail carriers. They were affordable enough for anyone with a low income to purchase at roughly £2 each pair. Again, Doc Martens are durable, and if you know how to utilize them, their steel cap toes can cause some harm. This was a major selling point for anyone looking to engage in criminal activity, and Docs was well liked by skinheads, punks, and members of many other countercultures. Skinheads, especially the ultra-right wing ones in the 1970s and 1980s, destroyed the brand's reputation nearly completely. That may have been the case if not for the fact that everyone else was wearing them even the police they were fighting with. Early in the new millennium, punk, grunge, and alt-rock all began to fade and Doc Martens suddenly found their sales plummeting. Briggs made the decision to stop production in 2003 and relocate its factories to China. Although hundreds of people lost their jobs as a result of the change, the company was preserved, and since then, individuals have questioned whether the quality is still the same. The original Cobbs Lane, Northamptonshire factory was revived in 2004 to create vintage-style boots, however the volume produced is astronomically lower than that of Chinese production. Also not only for himself. In the 1990s, Pope John Paul II purchased 100 pairs of Doc Martens in a variety of colors and styles for the Vatican workers. Naturally, he also treated himself to a good pair of white brogues as a treat. Even while this undoubtedly took place, there are no known images of anyone sporting the recognizable shoes within the Vatican. Although they did have some difficult times in the early 2000s seconds, that situation has now changed. This enduring brand succeeded in maintaining its recognizable aesthetic while making just the right number of timely adjustments, and it's paying off. More pairs of docks were sold between March 2021 and March 2022 than at any point in the company's previous 62 years of operation or 14.1 million pairs, to be exact. The UK continues to have the biggest sales, but the boot is becoming more and more popular worldwide. Look, it's difficult to envision a world without Doc Martens at this point. The fact that they have changed over time from the most practical item of footwear one could own to the newest fashion trend has nothing to do with the boot itself. Not much has changed in terms of the general design. We have. That being said, it makes total sense that the ways we wear our Docs have changed as well. What's most intriguing is imagining what Doc Martin footwear might look like in the future.